Hey everyone, so uh, as I promised you guys, I'm gonna walk you through all the numbers and show you how much this track cost us, how much the repairs cost, and we'll see if this was a good deal for us or not. See over here, I have a bunch of receipts, all the receipts for the parts that we actually bought for this track. And first, let me make this a little bit smaller. And for those of you guys who are wondering why it says Sergey Halodinsky is actually my brother's name. I'm using his Zoom account, so don't get confused. But um, anyway, so first I wanted to show you guys the pictures of basically the listing or at the, at the auction listing. So pictures of the track and all the information that we had before we actually bought it. So we bought it from Insurance Auto Auctions. You can see here. Uh, these are the pictures that we saw online, pictures of the truck. Um, so, as you can see, it doesn't look bad. You know, obviously there is some front end damage. But uh, what's, see over here, you can actually tell, see this wheel like facing that way and this wheel facing this way. So uh, you, you know that obviously something's going on with the suspension over here. Uh, so, and as you know, you know, we ended up replacing the suspension. If you watched part one of the, of the video, so we kind of expected that. But what was interesting about it is that if you scroll down here, it says, see, lost type collision, primary damage, left front, odometer, that's the mileage, and the start code, it says vehicle won't start. Um, I believe that, that that was one of the major reasons why we got a good deal on this track because for, for whatever reason, the auction people, the person checking in this track, when they got to the auction, they couldn't get it running. I don't know why, you know, maybe the battery was dead. Usually they jump these cars, but, you know, jump start them, but maybe the person was lazy or maybe they couldn't connect the booster the right, the right way or maybe whatever, for whatever reason, they couldn't get it running and they said the track won't start. And I'm sure a lot of people who were bidding online, they didn't know exactly what the problem is, they thought maybe there is some kind of like undercarriage damage there that you can see. Maybe the motor is hit. Maybe that you know there is engine damage. That's why it doesn't start. So there's a lot of unknowns. So what what uh, played in our favor is that this truck was for sale in Long Island branch, which is our local branch. So I actually went there in person and I inspected the truck and I saw that there is no damage to the engine. You know, I looked underneath and I saw everything looks clean and nice. And I was like pretty sure that the, tr the truck is going to start. Um, and it, it did start, which was, which was great. And, you know, looking at the pictures, you definitely see there is not much, much damage there. Even the inside, you know, all the, the airbags are good. You know, everything looks fine. Let's look here. Basically, they say that. ACV is $28,496, which means the insurance company valued this track at $28,496. That's the value, the market value, actual cash value of the truck. And ERC, that's estimate, est estimated repair cost is $22,803. So as you can see, that's almost probably like 80% or 70% of, of the truck's value that's why they totaled the truck it was declared a total loss and got a salvage title and sent and got sent to the auction i have no idea where they came up with this number you know and how they got to twenty two thousand. but i'll definitely show you guys all the numbers that we got and i'll show you how much it cost us to actually repair this truck so over here i have uh the actual buyer receipt that's the invoice from the auction so you can see I'm not making this up, you know, I'm not uh, making up numbers here. So as you can see, if you scroll down here, it's uh, 2017 Ram 1500 blue mileage. This is the VIN number. So the bid amount was 9,500. That's That was our bid, the winning bid. So we, we basically bought it for 9,500 plus buyer fee, $545 service fee. That's the loading, you know, all the stuff that the auction charges and premium vehicle detail fee, $7. Um, they charge a small fee for like a vehicle history report that pretty much useless. Nobody uses it, but they charge you anyway. So the total came out to 10,000 over here. You can see $10,111.
that's the total price with fees that we paid for this truck. So I made this little, little file over here to make it easier. Somebody's texting me. Um, so $1,111 was the winning bid plus fees. 150 bucks was towing to the shop. $355 suspension. We replaced the suspension. We bought a, I bought a complete suspension from another 2017 Dodge Ram. It was in great condition. It cost us $355. Now for the record, if you go to the dealer, you know, you would pay probably like at least five or six times that, if not more. Because for some reason, you know, suspension parts are really expensive, like the control arms and, you know, things like that. I don't know why, but use, you can get them used and, uh, you know, a lot of times they're as good as new. Uh, and they save you a lot of money. $1,006.54, that was, there were the body parts. Basically we replaced the fender, um, front bumper, um, left headlight, a uh, bunch of small pieces like brackets, you know, little brackets, plastic pieces, fog light, things like that. I just totaled them all. I just totaled them uh, and, and got to this number. Majority of these parts we bought from Keystone, which we actually bought the fender and, and front bumper cover from, from Keystone. And we bought them, they, they were like copper certified, which means they're pretty much the same as, as original, same quality as, as original part. Um, and they were cheaper, obviously. And a lot of parts we bought from, from the dealer. You know, we bought the headlight, head, headlight from the dealer, the wheel. The wheel well, you know, like a bunch of all the little brackets, stuff like that. Everything came out to $1,006.54. Uh, I paid $250 for a pair of seat belts because they were cut. I don't know who cut them and why. You know, they, they were working fine. They were not stuck or anything, but somebody just cut them, so I had to replace them. Uh, $1,000 we paid to Victor for, for body work that he did, and he did a really good job. Um, $60 for wheel alignment because we, we, we changed the suspensions. We had to do wheel alignment so the car aligns properly and drives straight. $200 was the New York salvage inspection fee. That's what it cost to, to bring it through a New York salvage inspection and get a rebuild title. In most states, it's, it's way less than that. In most states, like $50, you know, 60, sometimes 80, or, you know, things like that. And $120 detail fee, which we, we paid to detail the truck. So the total all in all came out to $13,252.54. That's the total cost of the truck plus all the repairs and everything. So the truck cost us $13,252.54, which is, in my view, is really, really good for a 2017 Ram with 7,000 miles on it. And um, especially if you remember over here, the insurance company valued this truck at $28,000, $28,500 almost. And it cost us 13250 13, right? Right, so basically it's, let's see, uh, 13252 divided by 28,496. So basically it's 46% of the truck's value, which is, if you ask me, is really, 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 really good. So basically we saved more than 50% on, of the price of this truck. Pretty, pretty cool if you ask me. So, and also here I just detail like total repair cost. This was $3,141.54. That's parts, labor, every, everything included. I even included the, the salvage inspection and detail and like everything, but the, everything but the cost of the actual truck. It's $3,141. And if you remember in the listing, the, the insurance company estimated the repair cost at $22,800. Don't ask me how that happens and why. I have no idea, guys. I think it has to do like, you know, it's, it's, a, lot of, it's a lot of different details when it comes to it. Like when the adjuster comes out and adjusts the damage, like let's say over here, you see this the little marks over here. So like, Possibly there was some tiny dent on this fender or something, right? See this this little mark over here on the fender, and then also over here, you know, they marked that there is some kind of like damage on it. 
So all this stuff is included in the estimate you know, when, when, when they estimated the damage. So it's, it's possibly they even wrote that this whole quarter panel has to be replaced, you know, it's, it's possible. Which definitely added to the repair cost. But in reality, nobody's gonna repa uh, replace this quarter panel. You know, in the worst case scenario, this dent will be fixed, you know, if possible without even painting. That's what we did. And it didn't cost, uh, cost us maybe $100 extra, you know, to so just take care of this dent. And, you know, obviously suspension parts, all these estimates they write with, with uh, brand new parts and cost of labor and it adds, adds up quickly, you know. And also possibly there, sometimes what I've seen is like there are some, some insignificant like scrapes on the frame, let's say, right? And they, they might say the whole frame has to be replaced, you know, because it has to be brought back to the like original condition, you know, but those scrapes don't affect anything and usually you just leave them on there you know and you know that's why these estimates sometimes are pretty ridiculous ridiculously high and uh that's good for us you know it helps us save money all right guys so as i said this truck cost us 13,252 bucks and over here i opened uh, just just for the sake you know just for fun i opened the car gurus and i i looked up similar trucks in our area and from what I see here, let's see the, the closest one I found was like, see this, well, this is a 2017 Laramie Limited. It's obviously a different truck. And it's listed actually at 5,000 5, below market value. And it's still 28,999, it's 29 grand with 72,000 miles on it. It's 10 times the mileage that we have. But obviously it's a different truck and it has leather, you know, it's fully loaded. So it's, does, it's not really good comparison. So the closest one I found was this 2016, um, this one, 2016 Ram 1500 trade, Tradesman Quad Cab. It's listed for $23,500 with 25,000, almost 26,000 miles. And uh, it says it's a great deal, it's 3,000 below market. So I'm sure they're gonna err on a bunch of fees to this price, you know, the usual deal but when you deal with used car dealers uh, and car gurus, instant market value is $26,700. That's what they think it should be worth. But again, remember this is 2016 with 26,000 miles and our track is 2017 with 7,000 miles. And it's still 10,000 cheaper than this price. And if you scroll down, you see this guy sells one for 26,000. This one, it's a rebel edition. So I guess it's some kind of fancy so it's 20, uh, 20, 34,000 bucks. So don't, you know, I, I don't see one for less than 22,000 bucks, you know. So as you can see, guys, oh, I see this one here is, let me see. Oh, this is a, uh, this one is 17.5, but it's two, two door. It's, you know, it's, it's completely a different truck. All right. So as you can see, guys, it was an amazing deal. We saved at least like probably thirteen fourteen thousand dollars off retail price and we got ourselves pretty much brand new truck for less than half of what should should cost so this is just to give you guys an idea of the deals that you you can get at these auctions you know it's just amazing and that's why I'm so passionate about it that's why I want to share it with you guys so you know what's possible out there and if you really want to get a deal you know this is the this is the only real way that I know to get like a really truly amazing deal on your car and save a lot of money and another, another major benefit in my view is that you actually saw exactly what happened to the truck. You saw, you saw the damage, you know, you saw everything and you fix it. You, you know, you know, if you fix it, you know, you, you, what you did, how, you know, you did it and you know, everything. A lot of times with clean title cars, you know, even if it has a clean Carfax report or like whatever, whatever, a lot of times these guys still have some kind of damage that was repaired. And it's not reported anyway, and nobody's gonna tell you what was repaired, how it was done. You don't know what parts were used, and you're paying through the nose, you know, just for the clean title and clean Carfax. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the videos. If you do, please subscribe to our channel, leave some comments. I enjoy reading them, and I'd like to know what you guys want to see from us. Um, we're planning to post some more videos like this, like our re rebuild projects, you know, where we show the trucks and cars that we get, how we repair them, and you know, 
and we'll, we have some some other yeah, cool ideas we, we're planning to release in the near future so stay tuned subscribe to our channel leave comments and i'll see you guys soon take care bye